What's up? Welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. I'm here with Matt Barnett. Out on his property, we're going to be seeing what it takes to protect an iPhone 7 from C4. That's literal C4 right there. Half a pound. Half pound. Now, we're going to be using three aquarium tanks. We're going to have the C4 on one side. We're going to tape the iPhones to the other side. And we're going to be using three substances. Air, water, and earth or sand. So, all the elements versus the fire. Right, Darren? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll film it in slow-mo for you guys. <laughs> so, Darren's gonna help us with the slow motion angle. So, fire versus air, water, and uh, earth. Oh, it's a hippie thing. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so now any iPhones that survive our three explosions will be giving away. So, there'll be a link in the description and information on the giveaway at the end. Here we go with the first explosion. Let's do this. Do you think the air will protect the iPhone? <laughs> no. <laughs> Water? No. Earth? Yeah. The sand? Yeah. Maybe? Maybe Maybe the sand will protect it. What percent? Like a pretty high percent chance? I give it a 80% chance to protect it, uh, but I think that it's going to, it may hurt itself when it falls, but I don't think the C4 is going to destroy it. Okay. Darren, what do you think? I air? think they're all going to destroy it. I think the sand and everything. From uh, what I have learned, it doesn't matter how much we put in front <laughs> of that, uh, focused explosion with the C4. Everything just gets decimated. And my prediction is 20% chance on the air, 50% chance on the water, 70, 80% chance on the sand. Post your opinion in the top right. Do you think the iPhone will survive with any of the three objects? Which ones? Post your opinion up there. Let's go ahead and find out what happens. So let's take a look at the phantom shot from Darren's angle first. Boom! Wow. And what's cool is you can see it emerge from out of the smoke. It comes out in the center from the smoke. <laughs> Flying right towards the camera. <laughs> oh, you got other chunks of the phone too. Mm hmm. There's just sparks and everything everywhere. That is cool. But that, that explosion happened so fast. Yeah. Even yeah. still. Yeah, I, I love I love the, the symmetry of that explosion though. Like it just explodes outwards and upwards and all just all at once, yeah. That was pretty. How many frames per second are we dealing with here? Uh, this is three thousand two hundred frames per second. And we're gonna jump over to the other phantom that's at forty eight thousand frames per second. That's quite the difference. Well let's check it out. Okay, so initial frame giant flash. It's interesting how like the light is refracted all the way through the uh, the fish tank for that one frame. That's cool. And then boom, 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 boom. All right, so now the explosion is starting to get a little darker. So we can see stuff and there goes the flame. Yeah. You got some flame going left, some flame going top, but most of it going kind of sideways and upwards. And look at the glass starting to shatter. Oh yeah, look at that. There goes your phone. Look at that beast curling around. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Like, look how directed that is just because it's focusing through the glass like you're talking about. Well, also, it was the shape of the charge itself and where it was initiated. I, I can't the believe the, the glass inside the aquarium didn't immediately go everywhere. It's like stayed it put for <laughs> at least a little while. Just look at all those glass shards. <laughs> it's like a universe. It's going it is a universe. Like little twinkle stars, you know? That's cool. <laughs> Let's set up the next aquarium with some water in it. Look, here's the phone, and look where we are. Right next We're to the like camera. <laughs> 10 feet in front of Darren's Phantom. <laughs> Word. Almost got it this time. The iPhone almost had its revenge on us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this phone, it's uh, perforated with a bunch of debris chunks. Oh yeah. I wonder if that's chunks of glass that went through it. There's no telling. Like it looks like a bullet shot through it in a couple different spots. That is crazy. Check out this tarp. It's freaking crazy. We put the tarp down to hopefully capture some glass. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. A good thing the GoPro wasn't four feet closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So we're gonna put a 6S on this one. Six S 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 on this one
all the water condensation is making this difficult. Hopefully that holds. That's like like Star Wars stuff right there. Boom! And it's just hanging. <laughs> Look that at is that so iPhone. Cool. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? You can see it too so clearly. That iPhone in the center. That is so awesome. I love how the explosion was cross shaped. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yep. But dude, just that moment of impact is so tight. It looks like a creature. Boom. You can see the imprint, the outline of the uh, aquarium for yeah, a minute man. as well, <laughs> as it flies out. And then, of course, it's like the iPhone is surfing that water on the right. way out. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's not even flipping. It's just going straight at you and sliding down. Yeah, so this is at, again, 3,200 frames per second. Let's check the 48,000 frames per second. All right, so the way that iPhone exploded in the last one, looks like the iPhone might be okay. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like from this angle. Okay, here we go. Playing it forward. I. Ooh. Ooh. Look, at that, look at that pressure wave. Oh yeah, you can totally see a pressure wave on the left side, just expanding outwards. And of course the aquarium glass. Look at that water putting the fire out. Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's why there's a bunch of carbon over there. Oh man, that looks sick right here. That water just kind of turned into a straight cloud. Yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch that frame by frame right as the explosion happens. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that wave. Whoa, playing it frame by frame, you can totally see a shock wave going out. It's like a mirror effect. Is there a second shock wave? Yeah, there is. So there's there one is. right here, and then yeah. one right here. There's a second shock wave. I think that's from, is that the shock wave coming out of the air and then through the water, maybe? Maybe coming around. I don't know. That You know, somebody that knows a lot about blast would need to look at this. Yeah, I don't know what the second shock wave is. But that's cool, there's two of them. All right, let's go see if that iPhone survived. Cool. Whoa. So we got water all over the place. Just littering the ground. Right there. Wow. It looks like it's in one piece. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ouch. Shattered to the max. But it's not hot, so no. maybe the lithium ion battery is okay. Well, look, look at this. Yeah, that home button's popping out hardcore. So this is interesting. Think about that blast wave coming through. Water is not compressing, right? So it's transferred right through here. You don't see any issues on the backside. But look where there was nothing backing the glass. That shock wave, when it came out, you, and you saw that on the film, when that pressure wave passed that point, that's where you saw that fuzz appear, where you know it just atomized it. Mm-hmm. It looked pretty good laying on the ground, I gotta be honest. <laughs> so all you people that thought it was gonna live, not so crazy after all. A little bit more water might have protected so. it. So there you go, water, not so good. Let's find out how Earth does. It's looking pretty good. Okay. I'll let you do the honors. Take the plastic off, dude. Oh, wow. It's brand spanking new, huh? Yeah, brand new iPhone 7. Woo! Boom. Hi, right, bye bye, phone. <laughs> if it survives, we'll just have some video. That's trying to check out spoilers. No, 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 none of that. Can't look at the iPhone before we watch the Phantom Flip. So let's speed it up to the left. Hey, look at that. Ooh. Man, that's protection right there. Oh. <laughs> Man, y'all's hair's in the way. Uh, there we go. <laughs> wow, it's cool. like a trifecta explosion going each direction. It's like a thing. A thing. It's <laughs> just a thing. Yeah. And yeah. it just falls it just down. Fall. Look at the glass is intact. 
that front glass is actually intact. Wow. That's what I'm about. That's why I want to be behind dirt, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, let's go check the other Phantom and see what it looks like. Well, that looks like the iPhone probably survived. Very likely. 48,000 frames per second. Look at that. And it just sat there. It yeah, that like, tank hardly moves. Like whatever, dude. <laughs> With the water, you you know you have uh, jets just yeah. shooting out up and down and left and right. Oh, it was already going on by now. Yeah, and it's, it's crazy. Like that front piece just stayed intact. Dude. It just like, dropped. It's like mm -hmm. straight down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. The dirt shooting out everywhere. And it's just the dirt, but that that shield is there. Yeah, well, from the front angle, you can there, see. Yeah. And you can notice that the, the, the dirt spread much more evenly yeah. than did the uh, the water. The water went in very specific directions, like up and down, up and parallel, you know? All these, you know, protective uh, devices and stuff, people just need to put like a crap ton of dirt around everything. And they'll be totally, like, you just need a suit that has two feet of dirt on all sides of it. You just walk into battle, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bulletproof suit, dude. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. You'll get about three feet and then pass out, but hey. You, you could take a grenade. Put, put little uh, hydraulic lifts in the suit. Yeah, there you and go. then there you go. You're, ta you're dirt talking man. mobile dirt it's, armor. Well, you know they have a uh, non-Newtonian fluid like armor that they uh, like cornstarch armor. <laughs> yeah, cornstarch <laughs> armor, except for like a lot gnarlier than cornstarch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cool. they have that basic basic principle in, in effect right now. So all right, in development at least. Well, let's go find out if that iPhone survived. So Matt was coming, trying to figure out if it had survived or not. He couldn't find it. Come to find out, it's right in front of us. There it is. It's still oh going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is in Dude. perfect condition. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Was your camera running? It was, but it looks like it shut off some for some reason. Hey man, I get that phone now. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I was completely and utterly wrong there. Yeah, Darren said all three were dead, but this one, perfect condition. Matt, I should have trusted you. Well, hey, I'm wrong a lot of times, but I, I did read about the distance of sandbags needed to stop different, you know, ordnance items. Mm -hmm. And it, it does not take much sand at all to, to even stop a 155 artillery shell. And so I knew, I was like, man, if anything does it, sand's going to save it. It didn't go anywhere. Like, it just stayed within, like, two feet of the... Of the explosion. Yeah, well, it yep. did scooch over some. And think about the mass, too. That thing was heavy, right? And so it took a lot more energy to even get that dirt moving. Plus, that dirt wasn't packed, and so it had little compression spaces in there. So mm -hmm. it was like a sponge throughout the whole thing. You could mm -hmm. see on the front the front explosion, like, it was almost a circular pattern for the, mm -hmm. the dirt spreading. Whereas with the water, it was very angular. Like, you could see that there was definitely a lot more diffusion happening right. in, the, mm -hmm. in the dirt than there was in the water. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to be giving away this iPhone 7. Link in the description. So check that out. There's lots of different ways to sign up for that giveaway. Big shout out to Matt Barnett for letting us come out. He's making this really cool stuff called Art of War, where he takes all these different things and creates art out of them. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a lot of military history. We've got old bayonets, got helmets, you know, anything to do with the military. And uh, I cut it up and bend it and heat treat it and make it into art. Go check it out. Art of War Co. on Etsy. Link in the description. And of course, Darren Dyke for coming out and helping us film some more. Big shout out to him. Check out his channel down below. We'll see you next time. Brandon, Darren, and Matt, and Carla. Out. <laughs>